I wonder if the know. reason why I keep on losing is because I've been doing a short game. <laughs> Let's do the fall then. Are you live? Yeah, I am live now. Okay. So I do backslash post. Do fall. So who's narrating? I don't have permission to perform that action. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm going to tweet that. Oh, we'll just. I hope. tweeted the link. We'll I just... want to narrate. Okay. Oh, you quick. can be the narrator. Yeah. yeah. It can be fun. You can Do be it, our Laura. Octo Pimp. Alright. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Camp Spook, the stage of some of our dearest. Back uh, then, oof. we were young and afraid. <laughs> Was so far away. Everything seemed possible. Sun embraced a way to camp. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days, nights, and you greet you with. It's like life could take a turn in every corner. And for us, it did. Okay. Who am I? So. Please let me be off. Okay. That 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 makes things easier because I was like I I'm, I'm okay with anyone but Oz. <laughs> oh, please, please, baby. Oz is actually my favorite. I want the girl with the Frankenstein. Yeah, oh wait, I, if Oz is your favorite, I do look more like Amira. So Aaron, we could switch if you would like. Uh, sure. Sharon, okay. you are Amira though. So like that hair. <laughs> I'm not green. I don't. Oh, oh wait, it's please. me. Four okay, okay. <laughs> I believe. Okay. We gonna be so cute. Man, man, man. I am a they. Mick Yeetus. MC Yeetus. <laughs> <laughs> Best DJ in the town. Alright, what am I bringing along? A sketchbook. Uh, I'm surprised you went, didn't go for the Pokemans. Pokemans. <laughs> that you yeah. have Sharon's name on it. I like oh, it does. Alright. Who's <laughs> player two? I guess I'll do that. My name is... Um, her name's Vicky. I know her name. But I I didn't I didn't know what Frankenstein girl's name was. Mm. Yeah. And the zombie guy is Brian. Yeah. 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 Mm. Because brain. <laughs> oh that makes sense. I have no idea. What should I name my Hmm. K-pop stan. Ah! You wouldn't! <laughs> <laughs> I say that because freaking Twitch is doing this thing where it's like, if you sub to someone, you can have K-pop stan emotes. Oh. <laughs> um... Great. Great. The, uh... Oh. The anticipation uh -oh. is killing me. <laughs> Mix sweetest. <laughs> MC sweetest. <laughs> okay. Dwan um, plushy. He killed. Them <laughs> arms, though. I like my backpack. Oh, he has anchor arms! <laughs> oh, they are anchor arms! <laughs> like Juan. Juan. Let's see, what would I take to camp? A light is a good idea. It's not a light, it's a lipstick. 
Oh. Damn. Uh, it was for uranium. <laughs> Bombs. <laughs> Orgy etiquette. I'm taking. This I mean, on. it might be a good book. <laughs> I, should, I think a spork is very useful. I mean, they would probably give you. Stones. It could also be a weapon. A spork? This yeah, you can stab someone. Order, because I like being loud and annoying, and not orgy etiquette. Oh. Um, <laughs> I always like yeah. snacks. Right Philosopher's there. stone. Okay. Oh, it's your turn. turn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, duh, duh. Is her name Amira or Amira? I think Amira. Yeah, Amira. I like how Amira. the uh, the yellow in her the the flame looks kind of like a heart. It does. Cute. Lovely. Fire babe. Fire babe. Oh look at the grill! <laughs> the grill! You have to bring it. the marshmallows! Oh my Bonies. god! Uh Tony's marshmallows, man. Do -do -do -do. Uh oh, you're right. They're marshmallows. Oh, like my sweet my look sweet at king. And dragon heat. Ha! And the <laughs> mask. Are you gonna go for bone boy? Maybe. Yes. yes I am. <laughs> Dude. Use my pick. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. I haven't even seen them all yet. It kind of it kind of pushes you more life. more down a direction in this game. Mm. Yeah, the other one was just like, "Hey, hope for the best." Yeah, it's like <laughs> sucks to be you, loser. It's like, <laughs> sure, you might get this person, but if you really want someone else, you can change the tides of mm. love. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, comfort zone. Oh. Oh. Hashtag no <laughs> voice. Spaghetti! Like Iron Maiden sleeping bag. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Cursed Ooh. pen. Ooh. Griffin, Griffin pasta. pasta. I would. Ooh! I need a camera. Hell yeah. Dragon heat. Mm. Pocket therapist. That's a good idea. Aww. <laughs> I should have brought that. I think that one. I think I'll take mine. the cursed pen mm. and uh, pocket therapist. Cute. One might say that the monster from it hardened us. Hardened us. But no, in love, always absent. And summer camp was no different. No one talked about it, but the idea of a summer. Summer love over our head. Like that arm up there. <laughs> Close to the last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening three weeks away. Everyone knew that if you were into someone, you were going to watch that damn thing together. And so, a silent yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster problem. All Everything seemed uncertain. Everything. Thing. Whoever we were asking on a meteor shower... It was probably going to be one of the six coolest people on that book. Joy oh, Johnson. Oh, baby! Joe Jima. A badass witch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. I remember her. Aravi Mishra, a hot-headed adventurer possessed by a curse who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. Calculester Hewlett Packard, a hot library computer who had become a sentient ready to experience life to its Dolly Aquino, buff blue demon, and set her sights on next. <sighs> uh, Damien LeVay, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and fire. And finally, Mil Milo Belladonna, a death reaper doubling as internet influencer and who profoundly in love with life and pleasures. He's so <laughs> fucking cute! <laughs> so cute. And all of summer could be shaped by the first step. Well, and so it was clear. It came down to breaking the ice and a good impression with the right person. 
Time to break the ice. Break the ice. <sighs> break the ice by doing something unexpected on the bus. Let's see. Sighing loudly sounds like do. It really does. <laughs> do what loudly? Sighing loudly. Mm. Uh, um. <laughs> Mm. That's me. <laughs> yeah. I was... Damn it, that's what I was gonna pick. You can pick the same oh, things. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, challenge someone to a staring duel. Okay, I actually like have sure. done this. I have I done this. <laughs> uh, swear about your sworn enemy. I don't have enemies. I just have haters. <laughs> I don't have that either. Never mind. <laughs> uh, it sounds like the staring duel is very you. Yeah. I'm gonna be a copycat. Okay. <laughs> oh. Not a baby, no! <laughs> Who wants to be her? Uh, Sharon, do you want to be her? Sure. I want her, but <laughs> <laughs> I can be her, I suppose. Okay. I couldn't help but overhear your world. Wait, what? I couldn't help but overhear your world weary sigh, Mickey Edis. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you also feeling blue? Oh, I love what? her green nails. <laughs> I've been a little stressed lately. The whole constantly saving the world from the brink of destruction has been weighing on my psyche. Psyche, that's the word. But hopefully, camp will bring me back to my joyful self again. Maybe it'll help you relieve whatever's stressing you out, too. Hopefully, see. Hopefully, we'll see more of each other while we're at camp, so you can, so we can sigh together if we need be. Reading's hard. Oh. <laughs> hard. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! What's oh. this? A purple orchestra? So middle. <laughs> <laughs> You've both stolen the people I, I love. can't already All tell the summer's going kick ass with people like Mick Sweets and Prince Adam board. <laughs> but we'll see which one of you get the covered burp solo. It's gonna be me. Oh! Woo. I expect I... your challenge! <laughs> I mean, punk, I've trained myself to go at least 23 minutes without blinking. <laughs> oh my god. It takes a true master to stare so unflinchingly in the face of death. My face, that is. I commend you for even trying. Aww. We'll have to do this more often when we get to camp. Great. We only had three weeks of crushes. But as I already said, we were young and afraid, and we were ready to start. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Good. Okay. Um, Let's go. All right, Mr. Just, uh... I like his voice. It's like, mm, okay. <laughs> I guess I'll go to the manor. While exploring the haunted manor, you find an enchanted... His voice makes you... Ow. Decide to name him Sparky and put him on your keychain as a pet. I would so do you. that. It tells you all sorts of cool things like where the tides of Venus. And if you meet a guy named Lenny at Costco, don't give him. <laughs> <laughs> Sparky also tells you exactly when and how you'll die. Apparently, it's going to involve a lot of mozzarella sticks. Me. You gain plus two boldness for gaining that foresight. You are so <laughs> yeah, yeah you. this is me. You're wandering the haunted manor, trying to see where your spookiest and first sex toy is appeared to. It tends to do that because. When you hear screaming. All right, my Spanish battle galleons, get ready for the ultimate in summer camp experience, a girl's night sleepover. Can you handle it? Okay. My bag of holding! All my slumber party gear says, hell yeah! I have some self-care spells to get this tart. Oh, don't say that. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm talking cucumber face mask that will give you completely different skin. Literally, it steals people's skin. Girls night, on. Um, actually, I'm here too, and I'm a non-binary So... 
That's fine. Milo told me that gender is a meaningless social construct, and I stopped listening because it was too many long words. But I think it means you're fine. So... Damn, she's fine. Uh, I'm guessing the DLC oh, is only so showing much. for me. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, yeah, probably. Because, um... I'm surprised none of you commented on their outfits. Yeah, no. yeah that's only yeah, showing for you. What makes this that's the crazy. ultimate summer camp experience? It's not a girls' night if it's not just girls. So it's just night? Is night really the ultimate camp experience? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> Vari's dressed up as Jotaro. <laughs> I definitely don't want to exclude Hex, but... What's her name? Art or what's their name? Arvi? Aravi? Of Arvi. Aravi. Of Words. <laughs> Has a point. Night does tend to happen at least once a day. Oh god, are both of these people? <laughs> a mere <laughs> optical. All this means is that when you when we excel at girls' nighting, it will be even more impressive. Awesome. How are we gonna do that? What sep what separates a girl's night from just a regular night? <laughs> the emotional anti intimacy, obviously. And I know no better way to generate emotional intimacy than beating the shit out of our collective <laughs> enemies. Don't be ridiculous. We do that every day. To make it a girl's night, we should really beat the ever-loving shit out of our- <laughs> Oh no! Guys, 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 stop being absurd. A true girl's night is about teaming up with our buddies to stop the hostile takeover of the world. Trying to sway our apathetic classmates, having emotional resonant character arcs, the support of the audience, inherited names based on pers personality archetypes. Oh man, I miss faith and hope. Perfect! We can show you just how, show them just how much you miss them by beating the shit out of them! <laughs> no? Literally none of these girls are girls night activities. Are you the the only person here who's seen a rom-com? Time to set these ladies and a non-binary curse on track to success. Alright. Try on. They're like battle armor for your emotions. No. Oh. Let's see, this is the perfect answer to build some lore, play a game, Ooh. never have I ever. Never. I think they'd like that. Hmm. But does my stats like that? That is I don't know. Oh, <laughs> uh, playing Turger stats is so hard in this game. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think the first one's charm and the other one's fun, and those are tied. So. Just do you, man. No, that's smart! Oh. I love that's this smart. idea. We can later use such secrets to blackmail each other or explore weaknesses in battle. I'll go first. Never have I ever gotten shot by the Pope? What? You raise your hand reluctantly. So... You've all been shot by the Pope? Never have I ever hunted down a pooping ostrich. You raise your hand reluctantly. No one else does. Never have I ever murdered cool Josh. You raise your hand. Now everyone finally knows what happened. Never have I ever defeated the death bow. Death bow. <laughs> Wait, what? Never have I ever been defeated at death bowling by Brad Braddington, Chad Chaddington, and Tad Taddington. Keep your hand up, huh? Never have I ever destroyed the world with Halloween hygiene. Okay, that was just one time, but your campmates are clear that they're starting to... <laughs> Alright guys, I feel like we're all ganging up unfairly on me. So I've got one that's so devious, no one will raise their hand. Never have I ever got engaged in activities for the sole purpose of dating my classmates, coldly calculating which traits of mine are most likely to win them over. Oof. <laughs> wow, seriously, Mikitas? I think it's time for you to leave. Ugh, why do you fail so many events of your life? Why do you feel like you're now losing minus two charm and minus... 
What? Hint, it's because you are. Today will be Damn a it. fantastic day. Oh, she's so cute. She, she is, is cute. really cute. I am cute. Thank you. You're very <laughs> cute. Wow, your stats are really even. <laughs> oh my god, they are. <laughs> mm, what would I do? It's like you can't fail. Um if you wanna know each. what each place what each place does, just hover over your stats and it'll show you. Oh. Wow. Well I guess I'll go to the woods. That day while hiking through the woods, you find a tree with the words J and S forever carved on it. Oh. Then on another tree you find Jay is a liar and a cheating hoe! That's <laughs> Then on yet another tree, you find S. I know you bang like people abroad in Europe. Don't dish what you can't take! <laughs> on the last tree, S stocks with Jay. It turns out Jay lives on 7889 plus 2 smarts lane. <laughs> Boy, you sure can learn a lot from trees. Sure can. You meet up with Damien to help him with whatever he claims is. A charitable so, endeavor. I believe that all living creatures, great and small, deserve a fine chance at life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's why I've been making these tiny magnifying glasses for you to dance. <laughs> now they can fight fire with fire if anyone tries to use magnifying glasses to fuck with them. I brought them the gift of flame, like Ant from Prometheus. <laughs> <laughs> And oh. you know what happened to Prometheus, don't you? Yeah, he was worshipped as a hero and the inventor of the greatest of all art forms. Arson! No, he was chained to a rock. In a sexy way. <laughs> no, in a horrifying torture way his liver was eaten every day! But I assure you, your punishment will be much worse. <laughs> what? Why? Camp director Miss Weaving, I feel like I'm actually being responsibly good compared to my classic bad boy antics. <laughs> I don't know what sort of behavior is tolerated at Speedy High, but camps, and I'm going to hold you to my standards. <clears throat> Excuse me. You think it's an accomplishment to tone down the arson while encouraging it in ants? No, 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 Mr. LeBay. You may be in high school, but at the end of the day, you are literally a little adult, and it's time for you to face consequences for your actions. Mm -hmm. But that isn't my face is made for. It doesn't want to face responsibilities. It wants to face shenanigans and knife crimes and being a badass. <laughs> well, until your face learns to behave, I'm afraid it I'm going to have to confiscate it from you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. In fact, i like to see you try. Exclamation <laughs> point. <laughs> have a nice day, Mr. Bill. I hope you learn a valuable lesson about what faces are for. Face? <laughs> uh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What, what does you do? How am I talking? I don't have a mouth. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So Damien is understandably freaking. But with no way to get his face back, the best way to come to his rescue is to convince him that it's a good thing. You know what the best poker face is? No face. Pork pro in the kitchen. No more face. No more dentist. Oh boy. What do you want, Damien? I mean, she would lose stats. Mm, okay. She gets it wrong. Who wouldn't want Damien? I feel around. like he would hate the dentist, but at the same time... Your stats are very even, yeah, so fail. it seems like whatever you do... <laughs> you will not fail, that's what it feels like. I feel like this is what D-Man would say. <laughs> D-Man? Oh, oh, hell, hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> I can respect a profession that's almost entirely scaring the shit out of people, causing them pain, but it's even better to outsmart them gum Get wrecked, dentist. You'll never get anywhere near my face again. Or maybe you will. I don't really know. I don't know where it is. But the point is, you won't get near me. 
faceless, some faceless leash. Someone facelessly shrieking about dentists. Has Dr. Payne hurt her Payne DDS arrived for his annual? <laughs> Who gives a baby? I don't even have teeth. Thanks for saving me a fuck the money of dentist bills, Miss Weavington. Weaving. Are you mocking me? Mm. No, I seriously thank you for saving me money. How is that not clear? Oh, right. No facial expressions. It's like being on the internet, but in real life. <laughs> hey, McSweetus, can you draw a smiley face on me so McSweetus knows I'm actually happy about saving money? Yes. <laughs> you do. And it's beautiful. Hey, that's better. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> and thanks. <laughs> Space! That's exactly what Laura would draw. It is. You misleading. First, <laughs> I first, need sparing a funny me note. pain and financial hardships. No more dentists for life, baby. Or death. Because I'm taking this face with me to the grave. Oh, no, you're not, Mr. LeVay. I can admit. And clearly, this punishment is counterproductive. Take your face back! Ha! This isn't my face. Delicious. Pancake. Oh, no, sorry. That's. I was saving it for later. I'm sure you're far in barrier faces in your Damien's back! There we are! And as punishment for your earlier indiscretions, I'm ordering you to have yearly checkups with a dental professional for the foreseeable future. So there! <laughs> Joke's on her. I was buffing. Love the dentists. Sometimes they make them rip my teeth out and put them back. Just for the hell of it. Pretty much, Weird. Pretty much freaking. <laughs> Pretty much the, the guy from uh, Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta admit, it's metal to be a doctor working on the only part of the skeleton on the outside. Did you know if you accidentally click the teeth while ki kissing, your skeletons are touching? Ugh. Huh. Well, Ugh. in that case, you hope to touch skeletons very, very soon. The plus two boldness. Touch my skeleton! God should help get there. <laughs> Wow. Oh my gosh. Arena. You're carrying fire, babe. You're huddled behind a bullet bunker, rows of a tail tag battle royale, like camp rival camp. You're sure that this is the end. Oh, right, I have to click. <laughs> You've lived a good life, you think. Next to you is a camp rival camp member, shivering and crying and out of ammo. Why guns are part of tail tag on your top? Is this where we die, fire babe? They sob. Why couldn't Camp Spooky and Camp Rival Camp just make love and not war? You reach for them, as if to bring them into a tender kiss, and as soon as they're in your grasp, you take their tail! Fuck yeah! That gives Camp Spooky no win. But everyone saw your sexy bitch also. Damn, I'm dumb. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're wandering around the camp, hoping you'll Avi, but not in a creepy stalker way. <laughs> I swear. Whee! Watch it fly! Hmm. Yep, mm hmm. Watching it. Make sure it goes into the air, just like all kites. Hey! Hey, fire babe, come over here and tell Avi how cool the flying kite is. Uh, you don't know if she clearly doesn't think so, and you're not in the business of contradicting hot people. But, just to get a more holistic sense of you ask a Ravi what's going on. Mm. Ugh. Mm. To make our symbiotic relationship as adventurer and curse attached to that adventurer tolerable, we've been created- we created a schedule where we alternate doing things we like. So on some days, I get to do awesome stuff in dungeons and fighting trolls and delivering absurd objects to serve people. Uh. Next. And then on Sundays, we get to chill at home watching TV and eating pizza and chips and candy. That kind of night. And Hex likes to pick different hobbies to see on TV and then forget about them in a day or two. <laughs> hey! I do not. Then why do I have half-finished scarves, decoupage, hot holders, friendship bracelets, and a taxidermy rabbit in my skeleton? <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna finish all of those. I just haven't had time because of all the heat. Junk food watching TV. Hex saw a kite flying on some TV show and insisted we try it for their activity day. Unbelievable! So here I am, forced to endure the 
boring hobby of throwing paper and string into the sky or else fit in my next dungeon crawl. God. Arabi can't pull the head plug on the hexes by flying without without serious consequences. But you can't let Arabi just be bored. That's not how love works. You have the answer. Do I though? Arabi loves up, uh, upgrading all her gear. Let's not upgrade the kite, but try and blaze it and see what happens. It's your conquer the scene of hardcore hyper competitive kite flying. <laughs> uh, am I bold enough to do that? I'm charming. Am I bold? I kind of want to use that. Bold. I feel like she would like this one. Magic and whatnot. Well, it uh, entertaining. Yeah! Hardcore hyper competitive kite flying? Oh, right. Really? Kites are only cool if they're competitive? Prepare to die! Duh! Stuff is only fun if I can crush someone else at it! It gives me a sense of superiority and tons of material for my therapy sessions! <laughs> I kinda like her more. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Fire, babe! Let's get down to business! And beat the hunt. The hunt. Want a Krillin <laughs> It's when you post some degree of rivalry for a short period of time. I end up surpassing you easily, but then you can get some sort of climax by sacrificing yourself. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you go into kite training. You learn all sorts of quick anime like techniques. The anime like that you'll update every now and then with a fairly similar graded version. The forbidden technique that can kill you. You'll promise to use it only in a life or death situation, but you end up always using it. So much fun! And, no, that's all. 90% of anime techniques go in those two categories. True. <laughs> but enough about training. You're not training anymore. You're now in the legendary kite tournament. Yeah! We've done it, fire babe! All of our training has led to this. I feel like we've prepared for this moment since forever! Huh. You have a very unique understanding of forever. You're interrupted, though. Stop chatting, you weaklings. It's me, Buffbert, the big buff rival who's super confident in himself when he's paired with a small adversary in the tournament. You're my first adversary, girl, and you're small, so you bet I feel confident. Buffbert! Then she wins. Boring. Can we skip to the end of this already? Do. It's the final already, son. And Aravi is in it. Could have guessed. I <laughs> the kite. Whoa! Oh, I kind of love you, Warren. I don't have to make voice. Ed, voices. do the voice. Ed, do the voice. Ed, Ed. Okay. Ah, uh, Aravi. I must admit, you've shown all of us kite fighters that you're one to respect, even though you're totally new to the com competitive kite scene. Your head will be mine. But this ends now. I'm afraid. Cobra Kite! Oh my god! Yes. Cobra Kite! I'm the finalist! Everyone has <laughs> presses under the thing for the fearsome techniques of the Cobra Kite! <laughs> also, I think whoever has organized the tournament is super drunk. Most of it makes zero sense. We meet again, Sarth, my sworn rival. Today I put an end to your reign of Kite Terror! I <laughs> care. <laughs> you could try, or you could join forces. Defeat is not an option. We'll gasp. That way, we could first ensure Ravi is out. Because in the most climactic moment, when two people team up against one, they tend to win. <laughs> yes, it's a foolproof plan. I'm smart that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up! I'm gonna beat your lore expo dumping asses! But Chiyo and Sarth, horses, after a long sworn rivalry, seems to hold a lot of significance in the TV show or game or whatever dumb form of medium they come from. So their alliance turns out to be very powerful, even for Arabi. Arabi is done for, unless you two put aside the long ancient rivalry you two have held since, like, the very start of this outcome. Oh. Fire babe and I joining forces? Whoa! Hell you yeah. unlock the third type of anime like technique. The technique that can only be performed 
former rivals joining forces. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> ah, defeat is cruel, but it is acceptable when bested by such a formidable technique. Yes! I mean, I guess. Fire babe, I asked you to krill in me and you just vegeted the whole situation. I admit, I underestimated you. It's almost hot. Okay, I fucking love her. She's said the G. <laughs> and this is only the start. I will become the Kite Hokage or something. This is my new character arc. I love her. <laughs> Ravi totally gets work kites by the next day. But you still get two plus fun. And plus Can I take a hey. thing? Beautiful. Hey, turn. Okay, Ed so... Turn. Ed turn. Oh... Okay. Well then, I'm gonna go down to. Oh, I can't go where war went. I see. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, what is the purple stat? Is that creativity? E, I believe so. With them looking. Okay. Ahead. Oh, and then. Fun is the yellow like, one. happy one. Okay, yeah. we'll go to the lake then. Let's try that. That day you go diving to see what it's what's at the bottom of the lake. Oh shit! I have to push enter. You find a comic book. You pick it up, but it's so interesting. You say they're reading it. This is bad since you cannot hold your breath indefinitely. You rush to the surface, but before getting there, you drown a little. Oh, wow! Gross. You swallow some weird stuff that was in the lake, like jellyfish and plus two fun? What was that doing? <laughs> You're rubbing tanning oil on joy and motor oil. Calculate. Burning activity. Damien screaming at a sandcastle. Again! Flame me, dude! What do you mean you don't have any flaming hot Cheetos? I'm the king and I demand Cheetos as tribute. Damien, please. Unlike myself, most inanimate objects aren't incapable of understanding or producing speech. <laughs> I'm not talking to the sandcastle. I'm talking to my subjects inside the sandcastle. The world is at risk again. There are people inside the sandcastle? And they're your subjects? Come on, Cal. This is an emergency. Join Calculus Dance. Dash over to Damien's sandcastle. Follow behind, spilling oil every. Is this fascinating? The sand castle truly is swarming with tiny humanoids. Where did you acquire this civilization? <laughs> These are the citizens of Smalltopia. I found them in the yard of Spooky High, and graciously agreed to be their king. <laughs> Graciously. He's a despot, cries one of the tiny people. We were a representative democracy before came along. I knew they would die with our <laughs> lightning leadership over the summer, so I packed them all in a lunchbox and brought them to camp where I built them this castle. There's a massacre, cries another one of the tiny people. That lunchbox didn't even have air Duh. If air can get in, so can deadly diseases. I was protecting you. We used to have hospitals and universities, despairs another tiny person. But now all we have is a mountain of... of uh, but now all we have is a mountain of sand and broken dreams. Our society is ruined! <laughs> Ugh, these guys are, have been such a bummer since I brought them here. It's like, they're not even grateful. I tried everything, threatening <clears throat> them. Paying Avari to threaten them, threaten them to pay Avari to threaten them again. Hmm. What about, I don't know, digging them an irrigation system? Or supplying them with microcomputers and learning software. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Then I can threaten to take those things away if they don't stop moping. That'll cheer them up. That was sad. Uh, you know what? How about Cal and I focus on improving the small Smalltopia infrastructure? You can help by... by... uh... Delicate. 
If Damien's not allowed to help, he definitely ape shit. But most ways of helping involve the ape shit anyway. Quick, give him a non-destructive way to improve utopia. Help him find some beach-appropriate decoration for the castle. He can't fuck that up, right? <laughs> or <laughs> introduce some hermit crabs. They can be Smalltopia's wacky but lovable neighbors. Uh, that seems risky. Mm-hmm. But something that Damien might enjoy. Yeah, it However, sounds like something Damien yeah, would this like. Is, this but is if you're going for the police, then you might want yeah. to... This, the Finally, place. someone oh. who could appreciate my aesthetic sensibilities. Mm. Oh, yeah, your aesthetic sensibilities. You have those, and I appreciate them. I am, happy. I am not programmed to understand aesthetics, and therefore I can only assume that Damien's are excellent. <laughs> I appreciate everyone's confidence. And check it out. I already found the perfect shell decoration. It's funny because it looks like a dick. <laughs> we don't want a huge dick on top of our horrible sandcastle, cry the Sidians. We reject phallic symbolism as a relic of the patriarchy! Bye, losers. Ugh, there's no pleasing these people. Come on, Prince Ed. Let's find a shell that doesn't look like a dick, I guess. Yes, please. You search the beach for hours and finally find the first shell. It is haunting in a dream. The sun plays off perfect in memorizing, mesmerizing rainbow pattern. Wait until the small topians are asleep. They sleep way more often than size because they're so tiny. I place the shell in the middle of the town square. It's actually just a square of gaming. But one thing at a time. Citizen, citizens awake 30 minutes later and are mesmerized by this mysterious new art object in the midst of their city. Their artists are inspired by its ethereal Their mathematicians are inspired by its intricate ratios. No aspect of small culture is left touched by the majesty of the shell. From architecture to music to atomic physics. That small topia appears to be undergoing a renaissance. They are even developed a cruel plutocrony, just like the Italian Renaissance. I underestimated you. Wow, Damien, I'm sorry I ever doubted your aesthetics. This is truly phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think we should go on with the dick shell. Thanks to this single shell, Smalltopia is catapulted to the atomic age in a matter of minutes. They develop nuclear weapons threatened to. Damien, if he's alone. <laughs> Wait, never mind. This is awesome. I've been trying to get them to build nukes for ages. Thanks, everyone. You help join Calculuster Dick Aquas while Damien yes, boldness. into nuking his. Everyone's happy. Gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. Trade places! Everybody, choose a movie. Say your choice out loud to the other players with clicking. Matrix. Scream. Uh, the Pokemon movie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, Mad Max Fury Road. Okay. Player order is decided based on the likelihood that Prince Ed would survive in said movie. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Well, I think Ed will survive the Pokemon movie. Yeah, I was going to say, I would survive the Pokemon movie. Um, what was it? It was The Matrix. I would not survive Mad Max. I would probably not survive The Matrix. And then what was the other one? Scream. I would not survive Scream. <laughs> Out of all these death things, would, would you survive the most? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go with the Matrix says second. That was yours, right, Or? No, that, uh, that was, was Sharon. That was Sharon. And then third will be uh War? Scream. Yeah. Which was War. E. And then Mad Max. <laughs> Mad Max I would do the worst in. <laughs> so many options. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I want to go where boldness is. The man. So manner, right? 
That day, you explore the haunted manor's basement, only to find it has a sub-basement. The sub-basement is full of haunted chairs and a staircase. Sub-sub-basement. Sub-sub-basement is a fine sub The sub-sub-basement is a haunted nightclub. Fine. They serve haunted spirits. Ha! <laughs> the sub-basement tenth power is a subway. You get a foot-long ruben and continue to <laughs> You eventually check walk through to find the haunted manor can spawn an infinite amount of sub -base. You only make it as far as the 89th level, which is a down sub leather room. You gain oh. plus, plus two boldness <laughs> from the first you witnessed. Later, you're snooping around looking for spook. Run into six. <gasps> the two yes! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Prince Ed, what are you screaming for? This place isn't that scary. <laughs> what? Like a few severed heads and visions of my grandpa screaming a horrendous pain are gonna freak me out? Where am I from? No, where am I from? You can buy that stuff at Ikea. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is... <laughs> what the hell? Is that me in 20 years? No, I can't lose my buff, terrifying beauty. My swollenness is my best future. I don't know whether I should be offended or smug that my appearance is yours, fear. <laughs> um, what are you doing here, <laughs> daddy's boy? Someone shut off the AC in your private condo? <laughs> no. I came here for the same reason I don't go anywhere. I wanted to set shit on fire. Huh? But apparently this building is flame retarded. I held up Lord George next to the wooden staircase, and nothing happened. It was the scariest shit I ever seen. He turned himself a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you tramping around without like without makeup is the scariest shit you've ever seen. Ha, burn. Don't say burn. That word has no power here. <laughs> While they argue, you go to find the haunted bathroom to take a piss, and you hear the sound of a trap being deployed, along with Damien and Dahlia screaming in unison. Oh no! D&D! &D. You turn back and see them trapped in a fishnet that appears to have dropped from the ceiling. Ending it underneath, underneath it are a group of teenagers and a great thing. <gasps> oh, puppy! Scooby great job, everybody, says the fond leader-looking teen. Oh. I knew people this crew would catch these crooks, no problem. <laughs> Like, uh, what do you mean, no problem, asked Skinny Stoner. Groovy Dooby and I were scared stiff, and like, we're almost out of dog treat. Red weed, says the dog, waiting <laughs> and beckoning to the other team to pass the blunt. <laughs> uh, let us down right now before I stab your eyeballs out and shove them up your asses like anal beads. Gross. <laughs> Me first, cries the red-headed team. Mr. and Mrs. Guggenheimer are really mad that we plot to drive down the price of this property and resell it for cheap. Oh no. Wait, you think we're real estate agents? Fuck off, Moose. You think we're married? <laughs> <laughs> Look, whoever you think we you got is not us. We're not real estate agents. We're demons. We're way more upfront about whole eternity of damnable torture than the most like than most landlords, and don't bother hiding any of the details in the contract. <laughs> well, that's not entirely true. My dads do make a lot of their money by selling off land in the eighth circle of hell. You're the saddest bunch I've ever met. What? I can't believe you, fucking LeBays. Always abusing your power and speculating. Speculating with your crappy land. It's too late, Guggenheimer, says the nerdy teen. As soon as I find my glasses, tear off those stupid masks on your face and send you to prison. Okay, but seriously, can somebody help me find them? I can't see shit. <laughs> it seems like these weirdo teens want to rip Damien and Dolly's sick, but you like those. You want to switch them. You need to save them using clueless crew logic. Ooh, transfer your skull into the head of a real estate agent so you can rip off your own face and present yourself as the true villain? 
or point out that it's problematic that these kids invade people's homes, trap them against their will, and rip off their faces without their consent. Who's the real criminal? Hmm. <laughs> they both sound like good answers. Mm. Ooh. I think... The first one would appeal to Dahlia more, because it's more badass. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna go for it. No! You quickly perform a powerful and very specific split you learn for the exact. And it works. It hurts like a bitch, but it still works. Damn it. You run out into the hall where Damien and Dahlia are dangling in your face. You don't feel any better. It's worth it. Zoinks! Says the stoner. It's the real Guggenheimer! Fuck! <laughs> screams the dog. <laughs> you introduce yourself as Alexander Guggenheimer, an unscrupulous teenager whose plan is to drive down the manor's value and buy it at a quarter of its price. We knew it! Says the gang. Great job, gang! Another mysteries. Can we like get some now? The stone asks. Maybe more dog. I will do. Oh my god. The teens leave. It doesn't seem like they were actually interested about the rat making steam other than the mystery of it. You cut Damien and Dahlia down, fully ready to accept praise for your ingenious. They are not. No! The first survival and said, I can't believe you've never told us you were a real estate agent in disguise. Oh no! <laughs> yeah! What? Did you think you could put, just pose as a monster in youth and think we'd never find out? I bet you just wanted to get on our good side so you can give us, so you can smooch us, pervert. Damn it. You try to explain, but you perform this spell to what well. your real estate agents the interest in house in and dog. Fucking The spell wears off later, but Damien and Dahlia are vicious. And the painful recovery process after ribbing off the face takes away minus two creativity and minus one. Okay, but I didn't lose boldness. Make some space. Am I gonna crush this? To the woods! During your hike through the woods, you find a baby bird that's fallen out of his- Oh. You nurse him back to health with some delicious tricks. You also give him great advice on pure- Then the mama bird finds you, and she is pissed that you're holding her baby. She tries to peck your eyes out, but you fight her off. You've learned an important lesson today. Don't fuck with birds. You gain plus two smart. <laughs> <laughs> you stumble upon, upon a Ravi surrounded by an odd look. An orc with a loot string across his back, an elf with his bow, a haggard dwarven cleric, and some other cliches. Also, odd is that Ravi is repeatedly hitting herself in the head. It takes you a moment to realize she's calling for Hex to- What's up, <laughs> There you are! Where did you disappear to? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was in your ribcage seeing if I could put strips of crepe paper into- It got lost. Oh my gosh. I- Okay, whatever. Look, I gathered this group of valiant heroes, each with their own skill set, personality, and dark backstory. Why? What? What do you mean, why? You asked me to. You said to organize a party. Honestly, I've never liked you more than that moment. Adventure awaits. When I realized you were finally taking interest in the things that I enjoy and that you were getting excited to raid a dungeon. Mm -hmm. Raid a dungeon? Oh, a Robbie. When I said party, I meant party. Like pizza and confetti and music and drinks and games. Purses. Can't you just have normal fun without needing to go into dark maze-like dungeons and kill monsters? Gosh! This is impossible! I feel like we never truly understood each other. Oh. Ever. You're so wonderful, Robbie. Just like... Trope. Uh. I was really trying to bond. I mean, we've already bonded in that you're a curse that it's attached itself to me. But I mean, the spiritual kind. Now, Robbie seems genuinely disappointed in me. Can't have that. 
Time to turn this party into a party party so Hex will be happy and Aravi will be also happy. In a moment of genius, he lies exactly what party member. Party goer. The necromancer. Did you know mm -hmm. him? If he can raise the dead, he can surely raise a cake. Mm. Always a part! Music! Uh, I don't know. I'm not smart. I'm not creative. I'm very <laughs> charming. And I don't know what is charming or fun. <laughs> uh, oh, I would say the bard, because yeah. that's a party thing. The bard is a party thing, but then it's like, will she hate it? Uh, the necromancer is cool. But I don't know if I'm that creative for to make a cake. Bard? Ah! Not creative Damn it! Enough. Bard. Or a fire babe? Huh? No! Not the bard! Anyone but the bard! But Ravi's desperate pleas are too late. You already texted the bard and in. It's Is someone order a bard? The bard. <laughs> Stumbling drunken. Take the <laughs> God damn it! Robbie, my girl! See you coming. Um, I mean, you never call me for adventures. In my number is something. I'm not caring oh. you. you no, know, it's because all you want to do is get drunk and play shitty songs on your shitty loot! Huh. <laughs> Anyway, here's Wonder Woman. Oh. Bard pulls out the suit <laughs> and begins to play. Oh no, he's wearing so tiny uh -huh. He sure is. I'm sorry, babe. For a moment, you wonder what those kinds of bards mean, but it soon becomes a bard. No, we know exactly what that means. We don't wonder. <laughs> it's all over. He plays song after song, butchering American Pie on the flute, I'm Yours on the harpsichord, and Free Bird on the xylophone. The entire party is held captive by his terrible one-man concert with encore after encore, no way to politely leave or shift the party back to, you know, actual party things. Drum us a song, you're the liar, boy. Drum us a song that slaps. Cause you're a safe woman that I bet We're tired of checking the trap Yeah, I'm out of here. He's your responsibility now, oh, fire boy. babe. Please don't. Later, haters. Seriously, have a great party. I thought Aravi was ruining my fun. Somehow ruined, ruined her ruining my fun. Incredible. It's a horrible party. By the time the bard is finished with his third encore of Ocean Avenue, he's drained you of a full minus three fun. Three! Jeez! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God, poor Sharon. I thought the bard would be like, you know, one from The Witcher. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. a coin to your Witcher, oh, Valley, oh, Valley of Plenty, plenty. oh, Valley. <laughs> Uh, frick. A friend of humanity! Or which character are you trying to date? I'm just trying to at least get a good ending. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, he looks so bored. You spend the day learning new skills with the Monster Scouts in order to earn badges. You earn a badge for healing a wound only using the, the tree. You earn a badge for writing poems in iambic pentameter. You earn a badge for building a blackberry using only real blood. Nice! Completing all of these unexpected and probably useless lessons only plus two creativity. <clears throat> you link up with Joy <gasps> so you can practice some so You've just composed the necessary tweet. And drawn the sigils in ethically sourced lamb's blood when. Get off my property! Hmm. <clears throat> Who wants to be sleazebag? <laughs> hey, you kids, stop getting bold on the grass! Or blood on the grass! Ugh, why? Because it's my grass, that's why I just bought this camp to turn it into a shopping mall, and the only blood I want spilled on my land is the blood of commerce! 
commerce. Also orphans if it's profitable. I failed this one so bad. What? You can't buy this summer camp. It's a source of happiness for so many people. Not a self-made gremlin. No, oh, I'm sorry. Is there a law that says things that make people happy can't be bulldozed? Never mind. I don't give a shit about laws. I'm rich. <laughs> You won't get away with this. Good always triumphs in the end. Pipe down, sugar. You'll love it. I'll put two hot topics in there so you always have one to turn to when the other one gets too mainstream. By mainstream, he means having an entire wall of nothing but pop vinyls. Let's go, intern <laughs> person. Now, go get yourself another black mesh something and let the men work, hmm? Ooh. The CEO wanders off with his tape measure to figure out exactly how many sharper image out he can fit in the dome, leaving you alone with a fuming joy. Enough of this. Ugh! I wanna punch that- <laughs> I wanna punch that dick right in his asshole. It's like how Damien feels all the time, but for reasons. <laughs> He's right, though. We can't rely on natural forces to stop him. Our only hope is to turn to the supernatural. Joy whips out the biggest spell book you've ever seen and slams it down on the grass. Jeez, where was she keeping that thing? In my butt! <laughs> <laughs> this is the tomb of Bunkin- Bakunin? Bakunin. <laughs> the most powerful collection of anti-capitalistic magics ever assembled. There must be something in here that we can put the end- like, that we can put an end to that man's horrific- like, horrible schemes. But what? You search the ancient pages for the perfect spell. You narrow it down to two options. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Put the invisible hand on the market. Construct the only artifact powerful enough to imprison the Monopoly man to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh... Oh, thank yeah. God. Of course, the go to jail card is powerful artifact indeed. <laughs> Ever since it was first widely distributed by the fraternity of, Par of Barker, it has been a, po a potent tool in the struggle against Monopoly. All we need are the appropriate- Yeah, Why can't I read? All we need are the appropriate readers. Let's see, stock of card, ink of jet, and a printer to bind them. Yes, I think this is just my work. Soon, with Joy's expert direction, the ritual is complete. You'd think it would be easy to print out a card from a well-known board game, but Adobe Acrobat is super complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy who's holding him up. Thank you, sorry. And I'm back, pardon my absence. I was just doing an evil monologue while making a poor person shine my shoes. <laughs> now what futile stratagems have you concocted to defeat me? A bake sale? A rock concert for charity? Some other pointless display of youthful vigor? It won't work. Those were words. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I got the voices <laughs> on mine. Oh, we have something much more efficient. Behold, the go to jail card. Oh, not that. Anything but that. We billionaires are immune to the laws of man, God, and common decency. The only rules we must obey <laughs> are the rules of the Monopoly board game. <laughs> The only the standard rules, all the house rules, just make the game take longer. Free parking can kiss my ass. Wow. Oh wow! Just as I thought. So long as you fit, like so long, you filthy billionaire, you're going away for a long time. Wink. Join nods and <laughs> throw the card on the ground. Red light flashes and a skeletal hand emerges to drag the CEO down into a glowing crimson void. This isn't over. Yeah. This ain't the last of me, summer campers. I'll be back, you'll see. This isn't over. Wow, Mikitas. 
I knew the artifact was powerful, but the way you threw it with such m mystic passion and anti-capitalistic fever? You would make an interesting love interest. It was kind of hot. Let's hang out more, yeah? That wily CEO gets out of jail a mere four hours later, as soon as he's able to rule double. But the good you will you earned with joy will last a lifetime. Unless you do something really fun. But what are the odds of that? You gain plus Likely. two hearts and plus one charm. I could have went a lot worse. I got the other option. It was so bad. Uh, that day at the lake, you start a super soaker war that will tune into an all-out war. The enemy team manages to capture the northern section of the lake, but you take a few of their members hostage and learn their empire's weaknesses. You lead a full and scale infiltration. Thousands of soldiers get totally soaked, TM. It's a bloodbath. After several hours, the enemy team surrenders, and you gain plus two fun from the peace treaty. Yay! You and Damien are engaging in that classic camp, camp prank, classic, classic camp prank of taking a bunch of other camper sheets. And tying them together to complete, create a complicated net involved in a Rube Goldberg S deadfall oh, trap. <laughs> yeah, nice work, Miss Sweetest. Our friends will never know what hit them, especially if it kills them. <sighs> Hand me my bag, will you? I need to find the hilarious metal spikes from the bottom of the pit. For the bottom of the pit. Ugh, it's so hard to find anything in this bag. My dad pat. My dad's packed it full of useless shit, like water purifiers, non-perishable foods, and a pillow. Why? I'm perfectly capable of smoothing people with my bare hands. Huh. I didn't notice this before. Damien holds aloft the bottle, inside of which swirls a dark black and gold liquid? Mist? It's hard to say exactly. Also, the bottle is screaming, DEATH TO THE LEVES! at the top of its metaphorical lungs. Your time will come! Your raid will end! Bad stop! It's gonna happen! That was weird as shit. My dad's packed all kind of useless camping supplies in here. A tent, backpack, halberd. But this is the most confusing of all. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What do I do with it? I. Uh... Bottle seems to be causing Damien a great deal of distress. You better come up with a, a reasonable explanation so the two of you can move the fuck on with your day. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. So it's supposed to be a, a response that's fun, right? Thanks, uh, sir. You want fun where boldness would be the best. If it sounds creative, probably we should pass on that one. I think I like the first option, but the second option sounds fun. I don't know. I'm going with number one. Uh, oh! Of course. I forgot what alarm <clears throat> clocks look like because. I always smash mine. <laughs> That's Damien but style, I feel like at least 21% like less likely to do that if it's threatening to slaughter me. Bye. See you later. I'm off to catch some Z's and wake up to the sound of attempted murder. The next day you're having a great time doing a camp thing and that camp thing is interrupted. Guess we'll never know. Hey, McSweetest, guess what? My new alarm clock Dope as fuck. I never woke up so early. This thing is way better than my previous alarm. I've been kicking that shit to the curb. Damon shows you the battered remains of his previous alarm. It is a toaster. He's <laughs> telling it is a <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. How dare this thing call itself an alarm? <laughs> Damien reels up to throw the toaster far, far away, just as the sound of RuPaul's lip sync for your death fills the air. <laughs> it's Damien's ringtone, and he asks you to answer his phone. 
on speaker since he's busy chucking his old alarm into the fucking sun. <clears throat> Hello, our sweet little prince of hell, says Stan, the king of hell. We wanted to see how you were doing it, camp. <laughs> awesome. Thanks oh, for the sick dad. alarm clock, dads. I'm just tired breakfast for breakfast. It was crazy. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> alarm clock, asks Lucian, the other king of hell. I don't remember sending you with an alarm clock. But I was very busy swapping eyeball with a scoop of anthill that day. The bot of the alarm clock that's black and gold and screams about how much it hates us and wants us dead. It's really put some pep in my step. Oh, Lucian, you silly billy warlord. I told you to pay more attention when packing Damien's bag. Damien, that's not a clock. That's a clock. <laughs> Sorry, what, what now? <laughs> a clock vex Raz, commander of the rebel army, Black Flame. When he lost the war, we put his soul into a bottle. And then to pack you a thermos, but I must have packed that. <laughs> well, it's actually super effective at waking me up. Any chance I could keep it, since I'm your very favorite son? Oh, you, says so Stan. We can never resist that sweet, terrifying voice. Fine, you can keep it, as long as you promise never to feed it or show it any kindness. Rad. Hell yeah. I'm so happy to, s to have all these new hours in the day. Thanks for giving me- Ugh. Thanks for giving them to me. And thank you, McSweetest, for literally opening my eyes to a new world of breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. Damien spends the rest of the day eagerly telling you about something called- The pen. You gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts. Okay, that was perfect. I love it. Hiding places! <clears throat> Everybody choose a celebrity! Say your choice out loud to the other players before clicking. Mariah Carey. Kim Kardashian. Hillary Duff. <laughs> Nick Cage. Oh, God. Player order is decided based on the likelihood that said celebrity is actually a time agent from the future here to prevent the world from ending. Start debating now. Definitely not Mariah Carey. Some, <laughs> some music plays every Christmas. It's definitely not Hillary Duff. I it's, think it's Nick Cage. It, okay. Yeah, I think it's Nick Cage. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And then uh, Mariah Carey or Hillary Duff? Uh, Mariah Carey. All right. Hillary Duff third, and Kim Kardashian fourth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be bored. Uh, oh well. Alright. <laughs> oh, you get yeah, to choose who to sit with! Who do you want to sit with? Hmm. I like that the map has a heart on it. Is that a Mothman? It is a Mothman. It is Mothman. He's amazing. <laughs> he is cute. Um, I don't want to. Hmm. <laughs> I knew you'd pick him. Hey, Mikiris. Welcome to the log, or whatever. Sorry. I'm just a little irritated. Boris the babbling blob monster was sitting here earlier. He promised to give me some awesome gossip, but all he had was. Coach's first name. Oh, oh, Odd if that's information everyone so touches to hear. I need some real gossip. Please tell me you got some. Hey, if it's gossip moss, moss man wants, it's gossip he'll get. Time to lie your ass off to get the best reaction possible. Ooh. Who wants to get gossiped oh. about? Oh. Ooh. Me me. <laughs> you? <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, I hate that word. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, man, that I don't know one. how moist she would be. She's a fire. Are you sublime, thick, or molecular? Yeah. Or are you moist? <laughs> it's up to you. Uh, Wait, molecular? Molecular, I, I'm tiny. 
Uh, I was of thinking molecules. of the chemical yeah, reaction in the fire. Oh, yes. Something bigger than a seagull? Um... Uh, there's a lot of things bigger than a seagull. <laughs> Wait, the moon? Like animal or just anything? Anything oh, bigger than a seagull? Oh, oh, now that some great gossip, Mickey, this, my spirits have been lifted. Hope you don't mind if I help tell absolutely everyone what you said. Like tossing oh, a breadcrumb to a flock of ravenous pigeons, your friends immediately devour and serve. I was like, no way! <laughs> or you! <laughs> I love it! Did you hear that fire babe was in a gang? You won't believe it. Hell yeah, yes. it was. I'm serious. The gang was allegedly super fearsome, and they called themselves the Moist Crocodiles. Oh I heard the fire babe met the leader, Moist Mike, the oh Were Crocodile, at the seedy dive bar on the outskirts of town. Firebase saw Moist Mike's gang tattoo of a seagull eating the, the sun. <laughs> the sun. <laughs> and started asking Mike all about the gang. Moist Mike said, Mo Moist Mike wasn't go just going to let Firebase join the spot. However, there were apparently pretty r rigorous challenges to overcome first. Fire babe had to prank a cop to steal two gallons of blood and even dry hump a red light. <laughs> but none of the stuff compared to the final challenge. Fire babe had to fight Moist Mike himself using only the power of God in anime. <laughs> Fire babe won the battle and they were in the gang for a long time. Almost two whole years. They eventually left because they realized that they were too badass for that crowd. Stranger, but did you ever see Fireblade's seagull tattoo? Now you know what it's for. Weird, huh? Oh my god. A bold as hell! You help Sharon get bold. Bold as hell. Heck yeah. Firebabe's new gang reputation earns and plus four boldness. Cool! Anyone know a good ghost story? Oh, I love it. Let's start fire, but like a campfire. Uh, oh, my, my sweetums. <laughs> you wander over to the campfire that's specifically reserved for campers 21 plus years older. You show your ID to the bouncer and then find Joy and a Robbie and also a box of wine. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Give me a second. Whew. Okay, I'm ready. I buffed my defense stat earlier. Do it! Punch me in the face! Uh, I don't know. I don't think I can do this. You're moving around too much. Stay still, you freaking babe. Yeah. Oh. oh my, what's happening here? The change you want to see in the world! Alright, Aravi. Here it comes. This one's for the coven. Okay. Joy punches Aravi in the face, and they both immediately explode into laughter. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> that was so fucking cool. Don't worry, I'm good. I'm good. Poggers. Oh yeah. Fuck. Joy, you've got Say Poggers. You've got such a good right hook. I love you. I'm the drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. You're a goddamn tank, Aravi. And I also love wine. Where's the wine? Oh, here it is. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Honestly, though, I can't remember the last time that I ha just had fun like this. I really needed this summer. I needed a break. Me too. I get it. You know, sometimes you just gotta do a few side quests before you move on to a main mission, you know? Uh, side quests, like getting all the chickens in La Manre. Those digital chickens. They always look so juicy and delicious. I want KFC, like, from a video game. <laughs> Whoa, I just realized something. Life is like, life is like a video game. Just think about it for a second. Every time you accomplish something small, it's a part of a bigger mission. Deep. Like, you get an A in a class or something, right? And that's all building towards, like, getting your degree. Small missions build up to big missions. And that's life! What a plot twist. 
No, 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 no. You've got it all wrong. Life is like a TV show for sure. And here, like in here, I will give you a perfect argument to support my point with a rash, like with rationality and wits. Life is a TV show because first off, it happens in 30 minute episodes, sometimes an hour, but mostly it happens 30 minutes at a time. Okay, well, that's obviously true. But that's not all. Life has that life has a thing you're doing right now. That's the episode plot. But it also has a bigger underlining thing going on. That's the season arc. Mm-hmm. You two are both biased. The only person here we can settle this is Fire Babe. What do you think, Fire Babe? Is life like a video game or a TV show? I would like to say TV show because I honestly feel like it's like that a lot more. <laughs> uh, well, which but, one are you going for? I mean, I've I've done good and bad with my little angry child. What was her name? Ravi. Ravi, the Slayer. I she didn't have a name at first, so I only know her as the Slayer. Um, I want her so bad, but I built nothing up with joy. It's like an arcade game. It gets progressively harder and harder, and then you die. Mm. Actually, that's accurate. Yeah, <laughs> so true. Life is just one level after another, and you just keep going and going and going and going until you're out of life points, and nobody in the arcade has ever beat the game. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goddess. <laughs> A few little drunk tears start running down Joy's face. What? Hey, hey, it's okay. Listen to me. It's okay. Don't cry, Joy. Joy, sh- <gasps> Oh my god, they're so Maybe drunk. It's sad because you remember the time that they discontinued French Toast Crunch cereal because that's a totally reasonable thing to cry. I was sad about that. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. It's just that level thing. Like, if I think about life that like that, then each villain that the coven takes down is like a level, right? And I worry all the time that maybe one day we'll fail at saving the world. And sometimes I just think it's inevitable. Everybody loses sometimes, right? And when that happens for us, that's the ball game. It just takes one failure and everybody dies. The world is over. Some fucking evil ass loser kills everybody. And it'd be my fault. Robbie oh. leans over and gives Joy a hug. Joy smiles and hugs her back and then starts gently wiping away her tears. Huh. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to get so heavy. We can have fun. Sorry. Wait, wait a second. Joy, I think you're forgetting something about video games and level. The thing is, dying in video games doesn't fucking matter. Power up. If you die in real life, that's it. You're dead. But that's why video game God invented one-ups. <laughs> I mean, hasn't Hope died like three times already all on her own? She's still around, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, she has died three times. The That second time, I was like, Hope, I know you love your electric eel, like your electric eels, but they're so dangerous to keep as pets. See, you'll be fine. Now you gotta figure out what's spending an, a one-up on. I stockpile extra lives, because I'm going to need, like, three to tame the ice stallion of Morgan Scarred. Booty calls. Booty calls. Well, I kind of want to know what it's like to be drained by a vampire. It's super lethal. But Dimitri says it's the height of moral pleasure. Or mortal pleasure. I'll just use a one-up. Mm. I guess you were pretty great. I think I've proven my point. Life is like a video game, and I'm pretty happy that I've got teammates to rely on, too. Thanks, Hex, and thanks, Firefade. No problem. You guys are both blushing. You're on What's Team Arabi. That means, one, you get access to Arabi's near infinite stock of one-up potions, effectively making you immortal, and two, you get to snock her sometimes. Nice! Oh. Don't me. Your turn, me. Princess! <laughs> So yes. Drunk. We did the emotional crying and everything. <laughs> <clears throat> you have it through calculus, or in Dahlia flipping through a scrapbook, laughing raucously. 
Oh my gosh, I forget that I have to push the button. Oh, hell yeah! This is a great picture of us, Cal! The, the Coliseum and the Forum were so cool to see in person! Oh, I love the Romans! So many training facilities, ancient armor, literally centuries of bloodless soaking in the soil. I couldn't stop fangirling. Yes, Cute. they are truly fascinating, but I must say that seeing the Olivetti headquarters in person was the highlight of my Italy experience. Being in the presence of one of the earliest computer manufacturing companies in the world was a dream come true. I hope I made my ancestors proud. <laughs> Oh, hey, Prince Ed. Want to look at our scrapbook? We were just reminiscing about the trip to Italy we took last month. She shows you the scrapbook. You get the impression that it was a joint project. <laughs> Some of the pages are decorated with bone fragments and motivational stickers. And others were clearly typed up and printed straight out of Microsoft Excel. But... We had an amazing <clears throat> time. I was fascinated by all the churches and even more fascinating by the beautiful, meaningless ritual organics performed there. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, <clears throat> I had to sit those places out. The Pope didn't really seem keen on letting someone with horns into the Vatican. <laughs> but it's cool. I commandeered a gondola in Venice and we had an all-out naval battle. I totally crushed. Yes, and Detention that was no longer allowed to enter Italy. No. But there are lots of other places to visit. <laughs> I'm thinking Britain for the next trip. Let's keep the ruthless war machine empire's theme going. Britain would be nice, but I am particular in Japan. To Japan. Their technological adventures intrigue me so greatly. I also have an uncle who works at Nintendo as a copy machine. <laughs> Prince said, you could come too. There's always room for more more on the Doll and Cal Express. Yes. A vacation <laughs> with Dahlia and Calculester? Where do you sign? Wait, friend Dahlia, I am also happy to invite Prince Ed on our next trip. But what role will they fulfill? Ah, you make an excellent point. A true master of war knows that every member amongst her t ranks must be absolutely necessary. An apt comparison. You see, Prince Ed, on our previous trip, I acted as the perfect trip planner, organizer, art, activities, and color coded spreadsheets. <laughs> I was the morale booster. I was going around screaming, "Look, it's, it's David! Look, it's your fans!" to the like to maintain the hype and make sure that everyone knew what they were looking at. Mm, besides horny one and gamer, what role could you fulfill on a vacation with Dolly and Calculus? Oh it's no! The, the backup memory. Oh no! second one man. Eh. That's totally yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's an amazing idea. You're hired. I mean, I loved our trip to Italy, but I do kind of regret not doing more research into their weaknesses sooner. Uh... Like their pizza and pasta, clearly inferior to the Olive Gardens. Oh, oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> And they're wimpy. Oh, parliamentary. Thank you. Parliamentary Republic. What happened to Caesar? Did he die? That's not very heroic. He stabbed. Mm -hmm. Not to mention their surprisingly squishy skulls. I would have thought the Romans res <laughs> residents would have retained some of their ancestor strength, but apparently not. I tested this myself, actually. My research concluded that Italian skulls are not resistant to an attack from a mor morning star. Weird. <laughs> I 
After that, the police showed up and totally confiscated my Morningstar and arrested me. Probably because they were scared I'd discover the rest of their weaknesses. Not enough signal to process this. Where was I when all this happened? <laughs> the Vatican. I think I told you. I used that time to check out some old dungeons. Uh, you did so in a touristic capacity, not because you were temporarily imprisoned in one. <laughs> Man, details don't matter. If only I'd known Italy's weakness profile sooner, I simply would have brought more morning stars. Let's get down to business! But I'll be more prepared next time. Thanks to you, Prince Ed. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, neither can you, as long as you get to be there when swinging your morning star is just the thought of you is already getting of, of, of it is getting hot and bothered mm -hmm. <laughs> well you know where I'm sitting Laurel your stats are so rounded <laughs> I'm round <laughs> look across the campfire and see Damien and Milo playing backgammon as a secret backgammon champion yourself you just have to play winner but as soon as you arrive yeah <sighs> Wow. wow, flipping the board when you lose, what a surprise. If you just kept playing, you'd get good soon enough. No. I don't want to keep playing. This game is stupid, and the board cheated. <laughs> you realize you always do this, right? Do what? No, I don't. I always keep things spicy and unpredictable. What do you always do? You're wrong. You do try new things, explore new hobbies, new sides of yourself, put one false move and you're back to the old crime and arson anger issues. Stick. What's that about, buddy? Well, I just, you know, crimes and arson is kind of my thing, you know. At Spooky High, <laughs> that was pretty much all I did. All those people knew my secret sides. I already toned that way down at Sp Camp Spooky. With my reputation suffers, I'm Davian LaVey, bitches. Legendary. <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> but, here's there's just generally less crime and arson to do. And also, I know, I do a good job at hiding this, but I'm not exactly the best at wilderness survival skills. <laughs> You do not do a good job at hiding it. I know that. We all know that. You tried to set up a tent using a katana. Exactly. I don't even... I didn't even stab anyone with it. What if I'm losing my edge? What if people stop liking me? Oh. <laughs> I'm sure they won't. Don't you think people will love you even more when they find out about your secret passion for makeup or your adorable relationship with your dads? And even if they didn't, who cares? Life is about finding what makes you happy, not what you think will make other people happy. In fact, if Camp Spooky Damien already has more dimension than Spooky High Damien, imagine what after Camp Spooky Damien will be like. We need to brainstorm your next evolution. Ooh, you love brainstorming and interfering in other people's lives. <laughs> you know Damien's next move will show... Oh man, I want Skull Boy, damn it! Oh! Oh no. I the Skull Boy! Well, one of these is, hit, is them. Mm hmm. After summer camp, get ready for the ultimate evolution, or should we say quadruple evolution? It's figure skating Damien. <laughs> we were born to make history! Why do I feel like the beard is more Damien and then the other one is more? Because I don't know enough about Milo. Milo! <laughs> okay. Well, I know I would be getting Damien if I went for the new beard, new you thing. So I don't know. I'm going to try to figure skating. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That is the exact vision I have for Damien's next step. It's one thing to take steps in a new direction, but 
going from being a hardcore badass to a figure skater? Those are literally the same thing, though. Figure skaters are hardcore badasses. To start with, you're the Prince of Hell. So? Hell is a pit of fire, right? You're always talking about being spicy. Hell is hot. What could be more rebellious and hardcore than switching it up by taking to the ice? Hmm. Good point. But that doesn't... Uh. But that doesn't make figure skating itself badass. Damien, my dude. Damien, Damien, my dude. Damien, dude, come on. Based around putting knives on your feet and then moving around by slashing frozen water with said knives. You're basically in a knife fight with one of the Earth's most essential elements every minute of every routine. That's like the best way to put that. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. I, I never thought of it that way. Is it possible figure skaters truly are hardcore badasses? They Come are now. Haven't you seen Yuri on ice? I know, right? Absolutely. Plus, with the thin socks, when you skate outside for hours, your feet will be so cold that when they thaw out, they will literally feel like they're on fire. Yeah. I love the feeling of fire. Knives in fire. <laughs> and depending on the number of hours you're putting in a week, you might be in near constant pain. Knives in fire in pain. Oh, you're checking <laughs> all my boxes. At the very least, your toenails will probably split. Not to mention the likelihood of bone spurs, stress fractures, lace bite, pump bumps, anterior knee pain, patellar tendonitis, pulled muscles. And you have to smile through all of it. Oh, look at the heart! Is it, is it possible that figure skaters is actually too hardcore for me? No, nothing is too hardcore. I can't wait for the fire and the knives and the pain and all the split toenails. That's then just grow in the split forever. Sounds great. No further questions. Bye. <laughs> I knew Damien would come around to the hardcore beauty of the sport sooner or later. Next up, figure skating Damien. And since you're here, I might as well start training you so that when Damien emerges in his next evolution, you can be his pair's partner. The curse is that figure skating might be extremely maladaptive to your physical health. But then you remember you're just out here trying to get laid, so you lace the fuck up and get on the ice. <laughs> it's a lot of fun, and you hurt for weeks. That's part of the fun! Woo! Who wants flag. to be the kitty? <laughs> Sharon. I love him! I've been waiting so long to see what the fuck he looked like. Sorry. <laughs> he looks so cute. That weekend, you visit your good pal Juan. He knows a good thing or two about getting wasted. Bueno, bueno. Look who's here. I was just experimenting with these drinks here. I was about to throw them away, but I have a feeling you're reckless enough to give them a try, right? What about this one? Oh. Redacted. <laughs> no idea if I got the recipe right. Wanna try it? Otherwise, she'll always have the mystery box. Um, hmm, yes. <laughs> no! Oh, poison. No! The mystery box. So bold of you. You're happy with it. No refunds. Oh, well, yeah, I'll take that. Quite, a, quite appealing, right? Don't know if I'd drink that, but the real question is, will you? I also have this mystery box. 
Because at this point, who knows what you can drink? Sangria, because sangria is tasty. Yeah, no, That's totally. Cool. I was testing your common sense. And you passed! Your prize is the drink you chose. Cardamom? Oh, it's cute! <laughs> the beach? Oh, it's censored. Oh, <laughs> What do you say? Will you take the drink of the day? Hell yeah, I will. Or will you prefer the mystery box? Nah, I don't want sex on the beach. Yeah, no, totally. I was testing your common sense. And you passed. Your prize is the drink you chose. What time is it? All 20. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Cool. Genie. Quite appealing, right? Don't know if I drink that, but the real question is, will you? I also have this mystery box, because at this point, who knows what you drink. <laughs> That's a good question. I was taking the genie. Drink the genie. Yeah, I know. You passed. Here you go. Drink up. Drink, 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 drink. drink. Uh, oh. Wait. Drink. Okay. <laughs> I managed to catch a genie inside that flask. It took me years, and you just drank it. I hope you asked for an important wish at least, like ending world hunger. Fuck yeah. You wish to spend more time with your summer crush. Ooh. Plotline unlocked. Plotline unlocked. Sangria. Ah, it's a delicious sangria, the Mediterranean concoction with a lot of heart. <laughs> If my calculations are correct, it should Im imbue you with the joy de vivre and the charm of the Mediterranean people. You flirty. <laughs> ah, sex on the beach. I brought this drink to the next level, as you can see. Give it a try. I assure you to, like, I assure you, it'll be a fun ride. Hell yeah. Okay. But I get tipsy very fast. <laughs> poison. I'm sorry, Ward. What? That's straight up poison. Don't drink it. I said don't drink it! And you drank it. That'll surely take a toll on your stats, genius. Oh. Woof! Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! God! <laughs> I'm never going to get a good ending. Jesus! Oh, this is the part where I leave, like where I leave before you puke all over me. Ciao. My goodness, that took a lot, dude. Yeah. Uh, a movie. Fuck. Everybody choose a movie. Uh, uh Spirited Away. Eraserhead. Extreme Goofy Movie. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Thing. Player order is decided based on which movie would be the hardest to reenact at a fireside play at a summer camp. Start debating now. It would be pretty hard. Um, <laughs> the fuck did I pick? Oh, Spirited Away. Spirited Away would be kind of hard, but I don't know. I think it's doable. I should be last place because it's very easy to do a skateboarding yeah. competition. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, mine pretty much. You just get a, a weird baby puppet. <laughs> the thing... I mean, I feel like you could reenact that very easily, because, like, uh... Aliens. I don't know, you should I be mean... second, though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I... wait, Aaron, what was yours? Ed. Huh? What was your movie? Spirited Away. Spirited Away, like it's actually... That would be with the dragon and all of such. The dragon yeah. and the bathhouse. 
bitch. No fish. Lot, 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 of, lot of scene transitions. Yeah. Laurel, oh, you'd definitely be second, though. That's That would actually be kind of hard. Uh, yeah. Wait, why am I not fourth? <laughs> because I think it's, it'll be hard to have people who know how to skateboard, then here's just a weird baby puppet. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> I assume so, um, I. What? I'm guessing we can't save and then resume later. Yeah, are we able to do that? I don't think so. Resume settings back to menu. So. Settings? I have to get my brother in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, and it's 12 30. Well, 12 25 anyway. Can you... Do you wait, know wait, if you can save? I don't know. I mean... It just says back to menu. No! <laughs> that seems weird. Uh, I mean, if we're all tired. I'm not tired, but I have to leave. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and I do have work, work in the morning. All right. Well, I guess th it w this was a fun practice round. If it doesn't save, <laughs> <laughs> um, if it doesn't, um, yeah, we can we can play again sometime, and uh, we can start earlier. Like Indeed. I can play this while I eat. Indeed. All right. Let's. Let's see. Do you want to go back to the menu? This will end the game for all players. Yes. <sighs> Okay. Disconnected. Oh uh, yeah. Dun dun dun. Okay. If you guys were a monster, what would you be? In the monster room. I would be an alien. <laughs> oh. What about you guys? Uh, I like witches and ghosts. I would either be a skeleton <laughs> mm. or some form of animal. Animal person. <laughs> oh, gosh. I like how in the in the options it, for trigger warning filters, underneath that is Damien B costume, sexy or super sexy. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of like the Kickstarter things where it was like Damien or Dahlia will get a extra sexy B costume. <laughs> and Damien I kind of want. <laughs> yeah. Dahlia has grown on me, because at first I was like, wow, you're very rambunctious. I don't know if I like this. I, I love her. But She's cute. I like the writing so much better in this one. Like, yeah. they, they seem like better people. <laughs> yeah. Joy is probably, like, one of the most, like, goody-goody people out of everyone here. <laughs> She's very vanilla. Yes, but she's gothic GF. Yeah, she's very pretty. Yes, <laughs> I kind of miss Polly. Yeah, I miss Polly. Uh, I know Polly can. Polly and Scott will show up from time to time, but they're just not dateable. <laughs> it's where there's not a save option. I could have swore that in the first one there was a save option. No, the first one definitely didn't have one. Oh. That's why, I, like, whenever I tried to record it, I was like, I got to do this all in one go. <laughs> This was fun! Yeah. And next time, I will get Dahlia. <laughs> I assume she <laughs> likes boldness. And possibly fun? Do they oh, ever like cool. like more than one stat? Or... I... They do. Yeah. Okay. Like, I assume she's like, a lot, like a lot of the stuff Damien likes, but she's more... less. Well, she's less arson. So I, <laughs> I assume a lot of boldness and fun would be good for her. Yeah. Yeah. I really I'm not want sure. to figure out what Milo likes. <laughs> <laughs> Probably creativity. And charm. Yeah. Oh, and charm. Yeah. I'm really bad at charm. <laughs> charm and creativity is probably Milo. I assume charm is good for a joy too. But anywho, probably. I got to get to get in. 
Okay. Good night, y'all. Right. This is awesome. This was really fun. We'll Happy, Halloween. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy <laughs> Halloween. Today Let's was like Turkey Day. Halloween too. Yeah. <laughs> Or mac and cheese, if that's what you prefer. Staples <laughs> of Thanksgiving. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. I love you, Shane. Love you guys, too. Bye. Bye. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Good one. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Love you guys. Love you yes. So much Good. love. Aww. Good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>